if there's one annoying thing that I've picked up from my mum, it's probably hoarding. I hoard. I hoard things. I hoard things from childhood. I hoard me memories. When I say memories, sort of all the buzzing ideas I have, and we all have as entrepreneurs. I hoard them and I put them into lists of lists of lists of lists. It probably resonates with you. Probably understand where I'm coming from. I think it's very common when it comes to entrepreneurs that we naturally build lists of lists of lists because we, we're just so buzzing with ideas and like yes, that's great that you're buzzing with ideas. It helps. It helps with the creative part of business and the growth of it but at the end of the day you're not going to get all this done at the end of the day especially when you're a one-man band you can only do one thing at a time multitasking is not effective multitasking you cannot multitask it you have to stay focused you have to focus on the small things focus on little bits at a time and it's all about the marginal gains now the reason i'm ranting on about this is because these things here so these files you see here i've had these on my laptop Basically, if it's an interesting website for social media or like for one of my brands, I will save it here so then it's just sort of quicker access to it. Now, to be fair to me, I do use them every day. However, these ones, these top ones, can you see them? These top ones, I don't use. I've had them, I've actually, basically the whole screen got so full I had to put them in there. So what I'm gonna do right now, and let me just show you the seriousness of this, all these files have more icons in. So you see there's just files among files. Let's pick one that has quite a lot, I think. And so that one has quite a lot, Quadrant 2, which I don't even know why it's called Quadrant 2. So you can just see there's tons of stuff. And I don't even know what half this is. Um, to read, which is obviously awesome, to read all them. But at the end of the day, it's I'm not doing anything with it and that's the main thing is that I feel like I need to keep them when but I haven't even touched some of that for like a year so I'm gonna take action I'm trying to do things that are making me feel more uncomfortable um, is I really want to improve my discipline and my productivity my focus so what I'm doing is in this video to make me accountable to it I'm gonna delete them and this may sound like nothing um, but to me it's really hard because as a hoarder and if you're a hoarder yourself it's really difficult to accept. Um, just deleting notes, deleting thoughts are great um, and not hoarding them up. But I know at the end of the day, hoarding, it stresses me out. It affects my focus because there's so much on there. I'm always trying to manage everything. And I've already got too much on my plate with uh, my work, which is great, so I don't need more. So let's do it. And I'm gonna show you to make me accountable. So, oh, this is painful. So I'm not gonna delete all these. I will go through these on the next video, but all that, there's among all that, there'll be something like, I don't know, like, a, I don't know, like 300, 400 icons probably. I'm just gonna delete it. And social media, I don't wanna delete that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just so painful to accept. I kinda wanna keep this one actually. Where's that one? To read. That's kinda tempting to keep. You can see as a hoarder, you're just, you're so bad at what you do. Because now I'm trying to keep that one and it's just not really allowed, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all them. So all them are deleted. Are you ready? All that. Oh god, this is painful. Hundred ninety-five items. Fuck. Ah. Oh. <sighs> That's painful. That's really hard for me. <laughs> that I, I know again you might think oh Scott you've been so petty and fair enough uh, fair enough <laughs> maybe I am but for me having had them on my laptop for like a year and a half whatever like it's so like it, it, you, it make, you make a habit of it almost and I think it's just so key to understand that you need to keep focused in not just business but in life so Understanding needs to keep focus, stay focused, stop being directed by all these thoughts in your heads. Like, yes, it's great, but at the end of the day, you can only win if you take action and you ha hammer down those marginal gains. So stop trying to make everything perfect in your business and start focusing on the small things and gradually get bigger. I think that's so key when it comes to 2018 and business in general to be successful. So there's my first steps. It might be small, but we're all about the marginal gains. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, absolutely, this is a new thing anyway. It was an absolute pleasure. I love you guys. Bye-bye.